Look, I get it. You want to turn 5k into 500k and it can be done. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I would do if I would have to start again. You stripped off all my currency investments and how I would position this for the next bull run. But there's a couple of lessons I need you guys to understand first, because if you don't, you're going to have the exact same problem a lot of new investors have. And it's only brutal until you're in the peak of the 2025 run. So I want to jump in the screen, show you what I'm talking about, but take it from somebody that lost $950,000 in the last bull run. Pretty much turning that from about 150k invested. Didn't even get a 10x, didn't really want a 10x. I just wanted to hit kind of millionaire status and I almost did, but I lost it and it went down. It got cut in half again. And I was playing this Jeffrey kind of mindset where I'm chasing everything and I was panicking. So I give you your failures and guess what? I did have to start over. So this video, I had to relearn re the curve to, to make that sense, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. I had to start all over again. So I've been there and hopefully if this is your first bull run, you can take this lesson um, because I don't want anybody to have to go with what we had to go with in the last bull run where we lost everything. So what I'll tell you is there's a lot of good things. There's highs. I remember when I was waking up and it was over $50,000 days profit. And I can remember the lows so much more because you only learn from your failures. So here's what I would do if I had to start again. So jump on the screen. Now, what I pretty much wrote here is here is a Bitcoin chart. Now, chances are you're probably not invested in Bitcoin that much. But what I'll tell you is, like I said, we read this all the way up and we read it all the way down. But I put a couple of points here to kind of bring this home. This was me, pretty much at the peak, 68, 69,000. I was like, it's going higher, bro, trust me. Michael Seller said it's going higher. BitBoy Crypto said it's going to a minimum of 250K. Nothing wrong with these guys because obviously we all just regurgitate each other's messages. Obviously, Michael Saylor isn't a YouTuber. But we all think it's going higher until it isn't. And we were very lucky because we got another peak. But did anybody take profit that I know? No, we tried to ride it again. So here's the kind of harsh reality when we went down this slope of what actually happened. It's just a healthy pullback, it's fine. You've heard that before, right? It's just a healthy pullback, it's fine. And that was probably what happened here, and you got another lifeline. So it's like, okay, it has to be a triple top, right? We'll get our money back out, we'll be absolutely fine. Second dot, well, this is the last step before we go up to 100K, boys. We're absolutely fine, we'll start filling our bags again. Kind of other point, I was like, wait, what? This wasn't part of the plan. This is when we're down at like 30K again, so we've just cut our portfolio in half and our altcoins are probably down 60, 70% by this point, especially some coins like HBAR. That's when I primarily bought $40,000 worth at 14 cents and it would dip and dip and dip and dip. And here's kind of the last dip, Celsius, FTX crashed. And I was like, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. We were too greedy. We made so much money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but we read it all the way back down. So you have to experience, most people unfortunately lose money with their first bull run. And it's only the second one, that's where I'm at right now, where they really make all the money. Even though we made all the money on paper, we didn't realize any of the gains are not nearly as much as we should have. So if this is your first bull run, brother, hopefully you don't have to go through the pain because see this shit, this is like two years of nothing, one and a half years of nothing. And it's only now that we're realizing profits. And we're back pretty much at square one where we were at the peak. Now, obviously, we expect to go a lot higher than this, and we will. And we're already way past, well, not way past, but most altcoins are now, especially the newer ones, are realizing some crazy gains. But I want you to take this seriously because this is money we're talking about. And if you get this wrong, you have to experience what we experienced in the last bull run. And we lost everything. And it was just very, very depressing, right? Nobody likes to lose money or nobody likes to talk about it. But here's me. A YouTuber just telling you exactly what happened, openly telling you I lost so much money in the last bill run. And it's because we weren't prepared. So take this very, very seriously, because if you don't, you will get your shirt, how they say, handy to you. Now, there's some good there's some good news behind this, like a personal story um, that worked for me. And what I'm going to be doing is this four kind of phases, Bitcoin, Ethereum and large caps and are kind of meme coins. And this is hot. Every AI narrative is pumping at this point. You're literally just chucking money at a shit coin and it's going up. This is a fantastic kind of phase to be in. And we'll talk more about this in 2025, primarily at the end of 2024 as well. And we've already had kind of like a, a pre kind of season of how this looks and this will happen again. And it's very good because in 2025, very excited. 
but I don't want you guys to get carried away because I definitely did on what I just showed you in 2021 and obviously 2022 where it just kind of went <laughs> on the wrong fence. So I'll give you a quick lesson here, a quick kind of point that you can take away. The party has to end at some point, right? Now I fully understand that. If you think about the whole world, like obviously not the whole world is going to be interested in cryptocurrency and investing, right? But it's going to get to the point where there's nobody left to sell to, right? Literally everybody's in, the normies, even your mum and dad are probably talking at this point and you couldn't convince them in 2022 and 2023. Now they're only interested in 2024, late and 2025. So you need to start selling at this point. You need to start seriously consider selling at least half your bag. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be very, very obvious, just telling you in the last bit on it, because it's going to happen again. I've spoke to guys in 2017, the OGs, um, not the full OGs in obviously 2013, but obviously those guys are probably retired because they made, they were buying Bitcoin like under $10. But the 2017 OGs, I wish they taught me this in 2021, so I'm telling you this for 2024 and 2025. It's very obvious where there is nobody left to hold the bag. So this is when you know. <laughs> I always mock hairdressers. And it's, it's just because it happens all the time. We all go for haircuts. And closer, it's already happened in a little bit. I went for a haircut recently. But the, every time you get close to like a really peak bull run, you get this guy asking you, oh, have you heard about Bitcoin yet? And then closer towards the peak, he's the one that starts buying. So at that precise moment, <laughs> I want you to log on your exchanges, go and get your hardware wallets and start fucking selling, brother. Because this is exactly what happened in the last bull run. Every single appointment, I would go every single week, every single couple of weeks. And every single time he was talking more and more about cryptocurrency. And I was like, oh, I didn't really think about it. I was like, yeah, 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 it's good, good, good. I'm sitting there with my massive portfolio. And then nobody was speaking about it again in 2022, right? We all lost all the money. So as we get closer to this, who are you interacting with? Just use them as exit liquidity. This is when you know, right? Everybody's happy. It's all fantastic. The next thing, I don't mean to pick on kids here. <laughs> Can I get in trouble for this? But if you get like, this guy's like probably like 12, but if you get 18, 17, 16 year olds start talking about cryptocurrency, start buying their first meme coin, put their 200, $300 pocket money into coins, probably start time shaving some profits, 50, 60%, whatever you want to do. And this is the kicker. You get a gym bro that says, do you even crypto bro? And this is the time to be 100% out. You maybe leave 5% in some meme coins just to try and squeeze every last gain. But this is the time. When you start seeing this three signs, and it usually comes at like this, your hairdresser gets more excited every single time you go in, just start booking more appointments at the end of 2024. You'll buy more haircuts, but it'll save you tons of money because you'll know. This shit, talking about cryptocurrency, and then just random people wearing XRP shorts, Ethereum shorts, and then... That's when you know, okay? And I see all this going back in my mind, but at the time, I was just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. But there's nobody left to sell to, brother. So really, really take that seriously. The big lesson I can give you is immediately don't have too many coins at this point. I like a maximum of 10. Some people like to go to 20, 30, 40. Some people just like to go to one to three. I think 10 to 15, absolute maximum, obviously depends on how much money you have. But if you only have like $2,000, and you have $100 here and $100 there, it gets very messy because you can't focus what's going on, especially when it cash out, plus all these fees, except, sorry, especially if you're on Ethereum's you know, base chain. I would say a maximum of 10 coins for most investors because um, then you can get in and out. Once you start going to 15, 20, 25, it just, for me, it just becomes very messy and I just like to stay hyper-focused. Anything less than that, I think you're kind of missing out. So if you only have maybe one to five coins, might be a great strategy, but... I think you miss out on some some gains. You miss out on a lot of gains. And again, just use your exit liquidity here, boys. These are the guys you want to stay away from. And once they start talking about it, it's game over. So the main advice, the kind of meat and potato of this video I can give you, and you're not going to like this. This is always the harsh reality. And everybody always says, oh, I've got $2,000, Jake, $3,000. We get a lot of people joining our community saying, oh, I've got $2,000. It's great. You're interested in cryptocurrency. You're at the kind of right time. But I'm going to give you serious advice. If this is your first one, you're not going to like this because it's the exact opposite of what you will want to happen by 2025. How much money have you got in? So if you're sitting there and you've got under $5,000, you're doing well. But can we get another $5,000 in? I want you to do that in the next three months. And if you're just like, oh, you're immediately turned off, you're going and watching another price prediction video of your favorite coin, that's fine, brother. That's absolutely fine. But you're not going to make it. You're not going to do as well as what you think because there are sub 20 year olds out there making 5K a month sub at 16 year olds making 5k a month and you're at 25 plus probably and you can't find another way in the next 36 months to make an extra five grand 
I'll give you some examples. You're not going to like this. These are the guys I'm hanging around with in Thailand. Way younger than me. The guy's called Tanner. He makes 25k a month. He's 19. He does sales. This guy, Alex, he makes 50k plus a month. 20-year-old fitness influencer. This guy, Elias, he makes 100k a month doing e-com stores. These are all... I can't remember what age he is. I put 23-ish. I don't actually know his age. I know he's under 25. These guys are all probably younger than you. And they're making a couple years wage for you. Maybe less, maybe more. In a month. Think about that. And this will really piss you off. What's your excuse? I'm not telling you to go and start a business. It's very, very hard to do what these guys are doing. It takes years, right? You don't have years if you're in cryptocurrency. That's why you're in cryptocurrency to kind of catch up. Like you guys, you, you can beat these guys with all your gains. These guys are invested in crypto. I don't think this guy is, but he's invested in himself. But what I'll tell you is if you can't make more money, an extra $5,000 and you're 25 plus, it's only like 4,000 GBP. I know shit's expensive, but you can't be making excuses. We're all making it happen. And if you can't, it might be very hard for you because here's what happens. If you can get that 5K to 10K, okay, active income, what you'll notice is your gains won't only be a 2X better. I've noticed this. I've tested this. If you've got 10K in compared to 5K in your bull run bags, it usually is about a 4 to 5X better, right? What does that mean? Let's say you turned that 5K into, you know, let's just say you did well, a 10X average, and you did 50K. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, Jake, I'm going to get 200K because I'm riding the Shiba Inu 2.0 and it's going to give me a million X. Fine. You can hold the bag when it gets dumped on you. If you get 10K and what I've noticed is it'll be multiples better. That 50K might be worth that 10K. It won't only be 100K. It might be 250, 300K plus because you can take more speculative bets in gaming coins, AI coins, real world asset coins or that narrative. And you can really start going after the smaller assets, right? Or the smaller market cap coins because with the 1K, you have to be super careful if you only have 1 to 5K in. You have to place your bet so, so scarce because you can't F it up. And you end up swapping and changing because this guy on YouTube said this. Me, you might be investing in some of my coins. And you're like, oh, that's hot again. Let me roll over to this. And you're not actually making any money. But if you have 1K bets spread across 10 plays, for example, you can start being super, super serious and you'll make so much more money than 5K. It's not just a 2X multiplier. It's usually about a 4 to 5X multiplier. Just what I've seen. So I'll give you an analogy. I've got these pills. They're not happy pills, they're cod liver oil pills. But let's say these are your coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've actually got twelve, but you can place these little bets. 1k here, 1k here, 1k here. Oh, that coin's up, 1k there, 1k, 1k there. If you've only got 1k and you've got one pill, first of all, you need to cut that pill up. Okay? And that pill, you might want five coins. Now you've only got two hundred dollars. It's not doing much. It really isn't. You really are going to pay a lot on fees. You're going to pay a lot to sell the coin. You might move it to your hardware wallet, like you're paying fee, 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 fee. And then you might say, oh, I want to swap this, right? That's another fee, right? If you have 1K in, 10 plays, and as an example, if you can get more, absolutely fantastic. If you're past this goal, keep going. Keep going, brother. Don't stop. I hope you understand. It just makes it way easier, and you'll make way more money if you can double what you currently have. Now, if you've got 50K in the market, I'm not telling you to make another 50K on your side gig in three months. That's obviously very difficult. But these guys are doing it. It's just an analogy. So under 5K, your goal, your action step at this part of the video is to think about how you can make an extra 5K. Pick up more shifts. Boring. It sucks. Nobody will tell you this. Get it done. Side hustle. Go and deliver pizzas. Three months of your life. I was saying this in 2022. I wish I could find the clips in those videos. I was saying this for years. Go and do it. I had to do it. Get to, get to work. That's all I can really say. So I'm sick of YouTubers and hold me accountable for this too um just hold me accountable because i was there i remember making videos in the last bull run with these crazy price predictions the reason why youtubers including me were doing this and i'll probably still do this is it gets a lot of views it makes me more money let's be honest because more people come on the channel more people get ad revenue you know some good sponsors come in although i'm trying not to do that many this bull run because i just don't like them that much although they pay a lot but i'm trying not to really do any if it's possible, I always let you guys know. But also, you, you guys buy my product. You guys buy all these YouTube products. We have a private community. You might buy his, you might buy his. You, you buy some sort of product. So it's very easy to do this. But the problem is, it comes with this, we're all going to make it mentality, right? The hairdressers and the gym bro. And it doesn't fucking work like that, brother. It really doesn't. Some of you guys watching this will be in the exact same situation I had to deal with in 2022. You literally will feel like you're robbed. You'll think you're the smartest guy in the world. You'll be swaggering to your family events because it's very easy to make money right now. You're probably up on your investments. Anybody can make money right now. It's very impossible to not make money. 
But I promise you, a lot of guys, greed's going to take over and it's going to wreck you. You do not want to hold these positions all the way down like I had to do for the next two to four years just to break even or your coin, a shitty altcoin, it might never come back because most of these altcoins never come back. And this will obviously make you learn that important lesson of taking profits. But four years of your life in that same job, you want to probably build there by 2025. So set some exit prices and go. So here's an example on Render. I'm going to map this out. So I was obviously talking about Render back here, but I never really got until about here. I never even bought, I've not even bought that much. The 100K portfolio, I've got about $655. I've got a little bit more in my main bag, but I've not got much. So what I would do is I would map this out. Okay, so let's say hypothetically render was to get to 145 dollars hypothetically it might go more probably not going to go that high maybe 90 to 100 dollars i see some people posting some people are only saying 45 50 but here's 100x 200x if you got from here but if you got in or if you're getting in now get your exit strategy set okay whatever these numbers are for you and you can leave that last 10 to 20 percent in for a moon bag or you can start rolling over to other altcoins because by this point you're already rich or you're already well ahead of the curve and you can do what you want at that point. The hairdressers are all in. You can just play with 10% and some meme coins and some other AI tiny market cap projects. But if you don't have these little set and stops, you're going to be in the exact same situation that I was in here. Where I just didn't understand why it was going down and down. And then, ah, I get it. Bear market. It's over. We have to wait now. Two years more of work. Which is fine. But chances are if you're in a wagey, you don't want to be in that wagey. So us versus them. How nice would it be in 2025 that you have so much money, you're shaving your profits here and there, and it doesn't really bother you anymore because you've already made the money. You walk into your boss, you hand him that two week notice, and you can breathe again, right? All your time wasted working for somebody else, but you have a massive relief now, and it's just been lifted off your shoulders. Take that seriously, because I know how that felt for me. I was slaving away, anxiety of coming into work, all these sales targets, pressures that we had, Big boss phoning up saying, Jake, why haven't you hit your sales target yet? Other boss behind my shoulder going, Jake, we need to hit our sales target. Well, he's just fucking doing nothing. Now, your boss is going to be looking at you at this point if you're in cryptocurrency and you've been bashing on about it to your workmates and your family, but nobody listens. And they're doing 2025 and it's too late for them. So hopefully you can stick it to him. One last jab <laughs> to the chin because he starts buying and you just sell this to him and it's a cheeky win for you. And you can make it, brother. We're on the same path. But just take this so, so seriously because... Here's what happens if you don't join. Again, question, pause in this video. Do you want to get out your job by 2025? I'm guessing 90% of you guys are working. Do you want to get out? Maybe you don't, but I guess most of you guys, for guys in our private community, they do. They want to get out. They're sick of it, right? And what I was doing, this was me 2017, I think, way before crypto, but I was making some money in e commerce I was starting, and then I was back in the job, and then I just couldn't get anything to work. But I was spending all my time being wasteful. Work, work work go out with a little bit of money that i had maybe 500 pound extra repeat couldn't afford anything bar rent food and a cheeky night out and this shit gets old so if you're still doing this past 25 brother i think i was i don't know what age i was maybe 21 22 here how long how long can you keep doing this and this doesn't change if you're going out to the football events with your mates and you're drinking shitty pints and you're just eating a cheeseburger after that there's no difference right this is just a young man's game the old man's game is you go to your pint blah 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 and then work some Monday morning don't you want more in life you're watching these cryptocurrency videos for a reason you're not just watching them for entertainment you want more so get rid of this put that extra money you have in cryptocurrency right now and make more money easier said than done I get it but here's the vision of a better life and I'm not doing this to boast on you guys hopefully you understand my story I've been in this game for so long I'll be I'm telling you guys openly how much I lost in the last bill run so I'm not trying to big myself up and I've told you how hard the struggle was for my e-com stores and working at the job. But this was me back in Thailand. I'm going to Thailand literally in one day from now. So I hit my first $10,000 day here. Probably won't believe me. Already seen the comments. They're already coming in right now. It doesn't really matter. Nice. And um, outside the car park. This looks gay as fuck, by the way. I realized that when we, when we took this photo, it was part of a post. But this looks like some gay... <laughs> P event but these guys most of them this guy's older than me i think this guy's older than me but this guy's way younger than me this guy's the guy from before alex this guy's maybe 24 and this guy's i think the same age as me but it looks gay but it's i promise you we were boxing right but how much better is this life you might not like boxing you might just want to chill with your family or go with your wife on a nice little cruise or some sort of event doing what you want training boxing 
Um, waking up to this, I really like golf, by the way. So if you guys ever make it and you come to Thailand, I will challenge you to a game of golf. I would love to play with some of you guys, but you must be good. Ten handi- handicaps or less, or we're not playing. Um, chilling with the editor, just walking the streets of Thailand, just vision and shit, just talking about business, etc. You might not f with this lifestyle completely, but chances are you're on some sort of level where you want to travel the world, play maybe some sports with your family or loved ones, find a group of like-minded people, and probably buy a fast car. But this is you right now, bro. You're a rat in a cage. Get pissed off. Dislike the video. Good. Again, I was there right there with you. Me thinking I was all cool with my shoes, my polished shoes. They were old as F. I think I had them in high school. Like You can still see the scuff marks. Couldn't afford new shoes. Trousers were way too short. Didn't fit my legs. Shirt was way too, I don't know, big or small. Couldn't even afford it. Not couldn't afford an iron. I just couldn't iron. I just didn't have time to iron. Bags under the eyes. Stressed. And that was me. I was right there with you. So I'm not telling you this to piss you off or I am. Hopefully it wakes you up. But this is you right now. Going to a job, stuck in this little shitty house. You're a rat in a cage. Can't do anything else bar that. Get to job by 9 a.m., maybe 8.30 a.m. By the time I get home, it's 7 p.m. There's nothing left to do. So if you want out of this, and again, this might not F with your lifestyle completely, but probably some of you young guys, same age as me, it might, right? Why can't this be you after this bill run? But it's not going to be you if you've not took any of these points seriously. So you've got one main problem. Hopefully you got some value out of this. Give me a like if you did. Or dislike it if I pissed you off here. It doesn't really matter. You have one main problem. What I would do if you would start today. Harsh realities. I've gave you all the harsh realities. I've told you exactly how to overcome this, get more money, look at other altcoins. And you need to take massive action first, especially with your income. It's the most important, but nobody wants to speak about it because it's just like, just people tune out when they say make more money, right? I get it. You have to know exactly what's going to happen in this next bill run. I did make a video here. Go and watch that right now because it's going to give you the exact steps on how I would play this next bull run correctly. So by 2025, you're completely done. Your future self is going to thank you for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go and watch this next video to print this next bull run. And I'll see you over there. Peace.